but it is true our borders are out of control. It is also true that this has been a situation on our borders back through a number of administrations. And I supported this bill. I believe in the idea of amnesty for those who have put down roots and who have lived here, even though some time back uh, they may have entered illegally. With regard to the employer sanctions, this we must have that. Not only to ensure that we can identify the illegal aliens, but also, while some keep protesting about what it would do to employers, there is another employer that we shouldn't be so concerned about. And these are employers down through the years who have encouraged the illegal entry into this country because they then hire these individuals and hire them at starvation wages and with none of the benefits that we think are normal and natural for workers in our country and the individuals can't complain because of their illegal status we don't think that those people should be allowed to continue operating free and this was why the provisions that we had in with regard to sanctions and so forth and i'm going to do everything i can and all of us in the administration are to join in again when congress is back at it to get an immigration bill that will give us once again control of our borders. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. and you remember this well, I was covering you then, Ronald Reagan and you, you voted for legislation that had a pathway to citizenship for illegal immigrants. As you well remember, there were maybe 12 million, 10 million, 12 million uh, illegal immigrants in the United States right now. Some called it amnesty then, they still call it amnesty now. What would you do if you were president of the United States with these millions of illegal immigrants, many of whom have been in this country for a long time? I'm only starting to say I think that we ought to have an H-1 visa that goes with every graduate degree in math, science, education, and engineering uh, so that people stay here. If you go about five blocks down the street, you'll see a statue of Einstein. Einstein came here as an immigrant. Uh, so let's be clear how much the United States has, has drawn upon the world to be richer, better, and more inclusive. Uh, I did vote for the Simpson-Mazzoli Act. Ronald Reagan, in, in his um, diary, says he signed it. And we we're supposed to have 300,000 people get amnesty. There were 3 million. But he signed it because we we're going to get two things in return. We we're going to get control of the border, and we we're going to get a guest worker program with employer enforcement. We got neither. So I think you've got to deal with this as a comprehensive approach that starts with controlling the border, as the governor said. Uh, I believe, ultimately, you have to find some system of, once you've put every piece in place, which includes a guest worker program, you need something like a World War II Selective Service Board that frankly reviews the people who are here. If you're here, if you've come here recently, you have no ties to this country, you ought to go home, period. If you've been here 25 years and you've got three kids and two grandkids, you've been paying taxes and obeying the law, you belong to a local church, I don't think we're going to separate you from your family, uproot you forcefully and kick you out. The Creeble Foundation has a very good red card program that says you get to be legal, but you don't get a path to citizenship. And so there's a way to ultimately end up with a country where there's no more illegality, but you haven't automatically given amnesty to anyone.